Hey y'all, so today we are going through how to build your first augmented reality application. Uh, for all intents and purposes, this will work for iOS or Android, but I'm going to be using Android. There is a quick upfront caveat that in order to build to iOS devices, you need to build from a Mac computer. Uh, so just know that upfront if you're trying to build to your iPhone, there are certain limitations that you're going to have to overcome and procure that type of device to build through Xcode. One note that I do want to make is that it's important to use either Unity 6's officially supported LTS or to use 6000.0.0b16 or newer. There's a an area during the beta before the API was added to appropriately call some of these things um, that you just want to not get caught up in. So either come in after b16 or come in just at the LTS. And the LTS is me installing 6000.0.37f1 right now. So let's jump straight into it. So this is the AR demo sample scene. The easiest way to get here is from the hub to go to create new project, find this template, the AR mobile core template, and go ahead and create a project based on that. If you read more here, you can get into seeing the render pipeline, which is of course URP and the packages that come through as well. Now you're going to notice when I pull this up that we do have a slight limitation here. And this is one of the first things that you need to figure out. My limitation is that I'm trying to build the Android. And when I pull up file build profiles, I do not have Android as a, an installed module. So what I need to do, and this is nice in Unity 6 and that it prompts you and takes you right to it, is install that module. So I'm going to hit install with Unity Hub and ensure that I have Android, the OpenJDK, and the Android SDK and NDK tools installed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. If I were doing this for an iOS device on a Mac computer, I would be doing iOS build support instead. Okay, so we will let that install right now. Now I do want to take a quick moment and show the documentation for this AR mobile template that we're using, this quick start guide. It's going to talk you through exactly what's included inside of the template, how to start working with the scene hierarchy, what each thing in here is doing, components of each of these pieces, etc. So you can get in here and really do quite a lot. Alrighty, so Android just finished installing, and as it mentions, here's a note, editor will need to be restarted to load any newly installed modules. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out and reopen this. All right, so now we're gonna to go to File, Build Profiles, see that we now have Android, and go ahead and switch that profile over. All right, so we have now properly switched over the build profile to Android. If you wanted a specific scene to be deployed in here that's separate from your kind of generic scene list, uh, I would need to change that in here, but we are all good. The only other thing that I'll call out is that if you wanted to replicate this and not use this template, you absolutely can, and I can do a future tutorial on that if it's desired, but I will say there's a lot that is pre-configured for you in here inside of the player options in your project settings. If you go to edit project settings player underneath Android, there's just a good amount of stuff like graphics APIs automatically going to OpenGL instead of Vulkan, which is needed for Android development right now, among some other things that have been customized in here. So if you need to go and check that out and it's super helpful, um, a brief list if, if people care are things like setting the scripting backend IL2 CPP instead of mono for 64 bit support. Uh, ARM64 target architecture selection, etc. cetera. Um, so anyways, let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial on that, but I love how much they've already given us in the template that we don't need to do all of this ourselves. So now that I've done that, the next thing that we want to do is get out our Android device and ensure that the Android device is both in developer mode and has USB debugging turned on, which is going to allow us to see it from Unity and build to it. So let me come up here, go to File, Build Profiles, and in Android, everything looks good. It doesn't see any device, though, in particular. So let's go ahead and get our tablet set up. All right, so we are now in our tablet. What we want to do is go into Settings, which if you 
do not have settings on your home page. You just swipe up and then you can search in the app search bar. After tapping on that, I can then scroll down to the bottom where we can get to about tablet. If you're in uh, another type of device, sometimes it's inside of system information or device info. From here, you typically want to get into software information and then find the build number right here. And if you tap that seven times on the seventh tap, you'll see a message down at the bottom that will turn on developer mode. So you can see that prompt at the bottom there. That's, that's essentially what it would say is you have tapped one time, tap six more times in order to turn on developer mode. Once you do have developer mode on, you tap on developer options, ensure that you have that toggled on, scroll down to USB debugging and turn that on as well. Once you have that done, you are good to go. So now I'm going to plug in my tablet device. I've now allowed it for this computer and I'm now going to go back up here and hit refresh next to run device. And when I click the drop down, I now see my Samsung tablet. So I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to come up here and hit build and run. I don't believe I need anything else checked for me. And all of those settings have been set up for me by the template. So let's go ahead and build and run and see what this starts to look like. Okay, so we can now see it building out to our Android device. The nice thing is during this process, really nothing needs to happen on your device. It just needs to sit there and continue to be plugged in. Once the app has been created, or the APK rather has been created, it will then be transferred over onto the tablet itself. So you can unplug it after it starts running on the tablet and you can just use it as a, a normal app from there on out. So what we should see is one of the last steps here is moving the APK over to the tablet after it gets through everything else here. And then we can take a look at the app and see how it's running. All right, so now we see a brief error that we need the most recent version of Google Play Services for AR. So let's go ahead and install that. And we'll go ahead and allow this to take pictures and use the camera. Uh, forgive my children's clothes all over the floor that they've thrown out there, their jackets. So let's go ahead and move our device to scan the environment. Tap to place. And now we have a full AR implementation that we can start to play around with. So hopefully you found value in this tutorial. Essentially what it went through is how to open up the right version of a Unity project, how to get that AR mobile template installed, which comes in with all of the pre-configured project settings for you, as well as the packages needed to get things up and running. We then looked at how to get an Android tablet into developer mode with USB debugging turned on. And from there, we built out our first AR application and tested it right here live on our Samsung tablet. Let me know if you have any questions. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope y'all are having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.